Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Dungeon Master Bloodworth, and as you can see by the graphics, uh, today's video I am going to uh, I am going to be showing off the Dungeons and Dragons 50th anniversary U.S. postage stamp. So uh, I happened to go into the post office this morning at roughly 9 a.m. And uh, I was going in there for the purpose of uh, putting a hold on my mail for when we are away on vacation. And I look up in the, you know, I look up in the display case and I see the sheet of the Dungeons and Dragons stamps, uh, the 50th anniversary U.S. postage stamps. So I asked, uh, are they available? And the gentleman said, yes. I asked, how much are they? And they were $14.60. So I picked up a sheet and I will show them here. So um, I just finished doing a video uh, talking about picking up these crystal, uh, these very crystal clear uh, display um, boards. And uh, it, it just worked out perfectly that uh, I, I came across these kind of surprisingly. And, uh, and so now it's a perfect way for me to uh, display the stamps and it'll go on my shelf behind me so you will see it uh you know in in future videos as well i'm not quite sure where on top it'll go but uh, it'll certainly go up there and um you know i was really excited about these i was really excited about these for two things number one i'm you know I'm, I'm really part of the dungeons and dragons legacy uh as far as being a player since 1977 uh, being a dungeon master for Dungeons and Dragons for you know well over a decade over all of that time frame. I mean, I played it and and then I dungeon mastered it, and um, and actually probably closer to two decades now, um, having gotten back into running Dungeons and Dragons since uh, 2015, and uh, I've been a fan all along with the various Dungeons and Dragons video games all through the uh, all through the 90s and and early 2000s as well. So uh, there's never been a time in my teen years to age 57 that, um, you know, Dungeons and Dragons uh, wasn't something that I've been a fan of or uh, engaging with in some way or another, whether it be on computer games or tabletop role-playing games or the movies. I have all of the Dungeons and Dragons movies as well. So, except for the one, except for the Book of Vile Darkness, which is nearly impossible to find. Um, so I see it as a celebration of the 50 years of Dungeons and Dragons. And it's, it's less of a concern for this particular product that unfortunately Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro owns the IP. So whatever credit they get for this um, is, uh, you know, is, is something that just is. And uh, having been a fan for, of the game system for so many decades, um, it's just something, uh, you know, it's a bullet I'm willing to bite. Uh, let's put it that way. I'm also a, you know, a stamp collector in that, um, although I haven't done it since like the second or third grade, um, I had a second grade and third grade teacher. I, I looped up with the same teacher, Mrs. Uh, Solbrick, uh, back when I was in uh, Hempstead, Hempstead, New York. And, um, and that was the Grand Avenue School, by the way in Hempstead, New York, and she had a stamp collecting club. And uh, I, I remember back, you know, some of my earliest memories of collecting stamps. And I'll, I'll never forget, I had like the Sleepy Hollow set was one of my favorite sets at the time. And, uh, you know, the Headless Horseman and Ichabod Crane running through the woods and, and you know, uh, very creepy and scary stamps at the time. Uh, plus, I had a, a huge, I had a very big collection, and it was something that, um, as far as a hobby went, it came to a very abrupt halt 
once I started playing Dungeons and Dragons in 1977. So it didn't last very long. Uh, but uh, to see D&D stamps come out now is, is kind of like a, a reconnection to uh, a very old hobby of mine. So really, uh, really nice to see this kind of a commemoration of uh, Dungeons and Dragons come out in this form. Um, and, and maybe this will this will kind of piggyback and become the uh, the day six form uh, video that I do for tomorrow because it's RPG a day and we can talk about different forms of presenting um, presenting games. Uh, so I might not duplicate this one here with Dungeons and Dragons. I might take another, uh, game system that has multiple forms and, and talk about it in that way as well. So uh, that's probably what I'll do. So I'm not repeating content. Uh, so a, a great surprise. I hope that that sound is not coming through too much. Uh, otherwise, I'll end up redoing this whole video. Um, but uh, a surprise, you know, something I just wasn't expecting. So um, and it's always nice to have some of these surprises. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You all have a great day and take care.